Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for checking out another one of my videos. Today I'm gonna to be checking out some high performance grout. Now, most of you guys have been using one of these types of grout over here. We got some Kiesel, we got some Mape Ultra Color, we got Tech Power Grout, Art XFL, Prism, Permacolor, and Permacolor Select. So I'm gonna be doing some testing videos later on, but today is not about test. Today is about just some awareness of why I would even be testing these grouts. So I'm not testing these grouts for stain resistance or or color consistency or any of the other properties that I would look for in a high performance grout. I'm gonna be testing these for hardness and you might wonder why, so I'm gonna show you. So we're actually gonna go, we're gonna walk over into the showroom. So I'm in my warehouse. So we're gonna walk around to the showroom. So I actually have a really good case study on how these grouts hold up over time because I have a showroom that we built seven years ago. So some of these grouts I've used and I'm not gonna name which ones, but some of these grouts were installed seven years ago. I have a couple installations that are as new as six months old. So here we go, we're going into the showroom. So I have a really neat case study. I can go around and test this stuff. So I don't recommend you do this. <laughs> don't go back to your old jobs and try this. Uh, that's why you hire the tile coach. But yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna see how these grouts have held up over time. So the, the grid right behind me, uh, this was done in 2013. So I actually did this install. It's a 13 by 13 porcelain on a diagonal. Uh, you don't see that much anymore, but um, at the time <laughs> it was all the rage, right? So anyways, it has a high performance grout. Let's see how that one does. Okay, so here's that floor grid and I put a little bit of water on there because that's what my area of concern is. Um, and what I have here is just a paper clip, uh, but See what happens when we, in the dry area, when we use our paper clip. It is pretty soft, right? It's a pretty soft joint, but uh, when it gets wet, and I'm not putting any pressure on it, I'm just letting the, the friction kind of slough it off. So that is what happens when I scrape out the wet. And I'm I'm going through, it's hard to tell, but I'm probably a 32nd, almost a 16th deep just from doing that. Okay, that's grout number one. Here's grout number two. So grout number two, this installation is about six months old. Uh, we did it over the winter. Uh, so maybe a little bit longer, maybe eight months old. Different grout, different install. And let's see what happens. our paper clip. I'm putting a little more pressure on there but similar results. Okay here's some less pressure. I'm just letting the paper clip go back and forth. So pretty soft. Um, I wouldn't think that that should be happening. Look at all that grout that's coming off of there. That's all grout. So uh, this is high performance grout number two. And let's do one more example. This is example number three. This job was done probably about a year ago. So let me get the water off of here. Okay, so dry. Dry, it's holding up pretty good. Not a whole lot coming off, a little bit. A little bit coming off there. Not much. Watch. Let's see. Yeah, there's some coming off there, but my main concern is when this stuff gets wet. So back and forth, back and forth. Oops. Just sloughing it off. That that's what happens when you get it wet and run a paper clip over it. Let's see, let me get some uh, clean paper towel here and see, should be able to really see how much comes off. And that that's how much grout is coming off. So anyways, three different examples, three different case studies, different grouts, different times all high performance. So again, it's really cool that I have a place that I can do these case studies, real world experience, 
These are three different grouts, three different times, three different installers, all with very similar results. The first one I used that um, was probably worse, the softest. Um, the second two um, took a little more scrubbing to get it to come up, but it did come up pretty easy and I could actually use my fingernail uh, to get some of it up. So leave your comments in the section below. Let me know, let us know if you've had similar experiences and also let us know if you have a favorite grout that you think is the hardest that you would like me to test. So I'm gonna be doing these tests of all the grouts that I have out there on the table. Uh, look for that video coming shortly. Uh, leave your comment in the section below if there's other grouts that I miss that you would like me to test, but I will do it and I'm specifically, specifically gonna be testing for hardness, especially after we get the grout wet. A lot of times we just grout and go, right? We grout and we're out. But in our case, uh, we do full bathroom remodels. So we grout and we're not done with the job. We come back and we trim out the plumbing. Maybe it's a couple of weeks for the shower door to come in. So we go back to our jobs up to a month after we're done grouting. So I'm able to kind of take a look at things and I'm not saying I take a paper clip to the grout. Let's just say I've noticed it on jobs and that's what has led me to doing these tests for you guys to see for your knowledge. So I hope you like this video. If you did like the video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button too and turn on your notifications. Leave your comments in the section below. You can also find me on Instagram at tilecoach. So I hope you like the video. I hope you get something out of it and look for the video, the follow-up video coming up where I'm actually doing the testing.